Hey world. So this is going to be another long episode because I think I'm at my upload limit today. And this is with the micro camera. I've had a little bit of response, just a little bit, but, you know, I don't really think people are expecting this. And I also think that people who understand what I'm doing will like it a lot more than people who don't understand what I'm doing, you know what I'm saying? Um, so this is kind of a little explanation of what I'm doing, if you want to hear it. Um, speed painting comes from two things. Two things make speed painting absolutely necessary, and it's this. To do ultra micro detail work, you have to paint to the page, right? You have to paint to what the page will allow. So, and the other thing is that efficiency of action. These two things together, you have to paint to the page and action efficiency, make speed painting a phenomenon. It's something that just occurs. Yeah. It's just so happens that there's a right way to do it. And it always comes out a little bit like this. Now, there's other types of speed painting called line art. That is not what I'm doing. I'm doing HDSP. HDSP is a... Um, the only way to do it is to do a constant miracle. You have to constantly do miracles. Yeah, it's the only way. There's no other way to pull it off. And any amount of success is due to miracle power every time. Yeah, that's why I show it. It's like, you want to see something? Look at this. People who are open to it will see it. People who aren't open to it won't see it. Right? And that's just how it is. So. And part of the art... There's a uh, bias in modern art that says make it look really good or something. And I don't have to do that. My cartoons, I find value in the middle space static, right? The middle space static, especially the on it. Okay, imagine this, right? Let's say that in speed painting, I am tapping into a real universal frequency that is channeling through time everything that exists and more and all the combinations of it, right? And so what we can assess is that in a speed painting, when we are creating artifacts, when we are creating synchronistic artifacts beyond time and space, when we are channeling masterworks from the transcendental super self for the divine other, my e all being, et al, et cetera, plus one. Life is good and getting better. Oh yeah. Uh, they say my name now. Run a name, you hear that? That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, it was funny. Because I never speed painted. I was just really humble. And I developed like these enemies, just guys who just didn't like me. All 1,000% of all my enemies are guys who don't like themselves. Nobody else. Nobody else. <laughs> I'm so nice. There's no other reason to hate me. It's like Post Malone is like, that dude who called Post Malone a bitch, he's like, that was mean. He's really nice. Like, you don't, you don't understand. You don't want a world where all the men are constantly fighting each other. You don't. We have too much tech. The thing that fed everybody and made us survive was working together. The idea that men have to fight it out is old. Plus, designer people are going to be better than what you can fucking put together through fighting for survival, they will. Our intelligence is going to make people that have way better lives and are way healthier and have way more powers than evolution did for us. But evolution, you know, is uh, what survived plus breeding. We are the story of gender. Yeah, life on Earth by far is the story of gender. You know, um, that's a fact. So, yeah. I guess I'll do accounting. You want to see how I see a speed painting? You know, I do point them out. Like, you, if you don't know what I'm painting, look at the middle. Look at the middle of where I'm going like that. Because that's where the action is usually. There's, there's drops on the up, drops here, drops down. It's comparable like this. It's comparable like this. It's comparable like this. You know what I mean? You can get... The goal of a speed painting is it creates an illusion. And the illusion is what is... Light, the, the similarity between life and illusion is ultimate because this thing is made of something and the thing that it's made of something of is aware of it being made of that something and it chose to be that something it made itself to be. Right? That attitude can open a lot of doors. That attitude can actually change physics and make it different. The idea that what happens is 
actually a game from some transcendental super cosmic creature and it's having fun with you as it likes. Right? Divine actor theory. What wants to happen through me? See? Accepting the wisdom and static, right? Yeah. Two books I want to write. Accepting the wisdom and static. And, uh... The other one would be... A new grounds for the English language. Yeah, I want to move the grounds of the English language from the Bible to something more... Uh, concretely abstract. My writing's not quite like my art. It can be. But, yeah, but my art. This is drawing. This is this is a uh, hyper. Uh, what do you call it? Hyper efficiency upgrade of my drawing system. You know what I mean? Like this is how I literally draw. I'm running out of page. Yeah, I learned to draw um, other stuff, and then I just, like, flipped up with this. I was like, oh, I can do this. Yeah. It is the art. I think other people can do this, too. I think a kid, old person, middle-ager, you know, handsome, whatever, whatever you look like, or whoever you are, you can do this. Disabled. I know people who do this with their feet, for real. They speed paint with their freaking feet. So... I can speed paint with Aura, yeah. When you'll be talking to me and you'll see a speed painting right over my shoulder and you'll go, how'd you do that, you know, Aura? Aura. Really deep ayahuasca stuff, right? It's awesome. That's why I say the human form is likely to exist. It just makes sense with geometry, it does. <laughs> 